Gentlemen, today I'm gonna to give you my top 10 masterpiece designer fragrances. Give you that competitive edge so nobody can ever smell as good as you in the room. If you like that type of content, stay tuned. You don't wanna miss this. Welcome to the party. I was born to be free. Uniqueness is what we want. We don't wanna smell like everybody else. That's what's the great thing about these top 10 designer masterpiece fragrances. Royalty, rich, amazing, unique, sensual, sexy, delicious. Before we get started guys, I would love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, share the page, share the channel. The goal is for us to smell, look, and feel good. What matters is the way that we carry ourselves. It's not about the numbers, the money, and all that. That stuff is cool. The money, the women, the vacation, all that is gonna come. But before we have to get our groundwork done, set the foundation, we have to smell, look, and feel good. In order to get that done, we have to pay attention to detail and that's why it was hard choosing these top 10 masterpiece fragrances but we're going to smell like the one percent out there the one percent that nobody wants to give you the secrets to their cologne we're going to cover that today you ready let's get on to that top 10. number 10 on the list is a summer in a bottle this is john varvato's artisan pure They hit it dead center here because it's pure of any type of sin. This reminds me of the palm trees rolling around the sandy beaches. Soaking your toes in that warm Caribbean water, you get that in this bottle. It's clean, it's fresh. It smells exotic to say the least. From the suit to the shoes to the scent, they are going to be mind blown by the way you smell, the way you look, the way you act. You are going to smell like a fun, playful man. She's not gonna to wanna to stop smelling you and be in your presence. And that's what we get out of John Barvato's Artist Impure. Let's go on to number nine. Dolce Gabbana, the one or the parfum. Let's dissect this fragrance. Of course you have the grapefruit and the top note, incense in the dry down, but the key player here is going to be the sexiness that you bring to the table. It's not loud. If you want to push the limits, break down barriers, then this is the fragrance you want to put on because it's very likable, very mass appealing. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because not only is it warm, but it's sensual. It seeps out slowly but surely onto the woman's nose and it lures her and brings her back in. She's at a state of nirvana when she smells this fragrance. It's warm, it's sweet. All the boxes are checked with this one. Chanel Platinum. Now it makes you feel like old money. It reeks of wealth. This bottle smells exactly the way I look. Sharp, clean, fresh, young, youthful. And that's every type of emotion, every feeling that you get when you put this fragrance on. Beyond a unique luxury good, this one brings back your youth and makes you want to come out and play. Really, really naughty vibes with this one. All season fragrance, any season, any reason, this is going to get you to the promised land. Trust me, it works. Number seven, Paco Rabanne, one million, Parfum. Not the original, but the Parfum Edition. The more mature, sexier version. And I'll tell you why. When I first smelled this fragrance, I was moved. Because unlike the original, this one is more mature. Because the fruits in here are more tamed, more mature, more aged. It's like aged wine. You let it sit, you let it marinate, and then when it's time to use it, it works. The exotic fruits here have been preserved, and only the 1% have access to it, except for now because you have it, you have a piece of heaven. This is a very energetic, clean, sweet fragrance. Not only is it very likable to the woman's nose and mass appealing, it's not over the top sweetness like cotton candy, but it's just a right amount, exoticness, you get that. Armani Cold Parfum. This is the redefined poster child of Armani. This is probably all department stores favorite and most sold fragrance. It knows what the assignment is, it executes on that, and it delivers. Men don't have makeup like women do to make them appear more sexier than they already are. What do men have? We have cologne, because cologne is the modern day makeup for men. And that's what I like about this fragrance. What I like about cologne, it does not disappoint. It gets you the reaction that women get when they put makeup on. Armani Code, fresh, clean, spicy. What else do you want from a fragrance? Narcisco Rodriguez, Blue Noir for him. Listen, I put the best of the best next to each other because this one really delivers every single time. What I get out of this one is not woods like it's described on the internet, but what I get is fresh, clean, and spicy, shower gel-like fragrance. Now, you're not going to have buyer's remorse at all with this fragrance. It's worth every single penny. It's going to move people. It's going to sway them in your direction. Everybody sees the value that you bring, but you tell people a story about yourself through a bottle. This is the definition of a perfect scent for a gentleman every single time. This one is definitely gonna turn heads. This will give women the same reaction as when they saw Shane Diesel for the first time. Oh, you didn't know who he was? Google him and thank me later. <laughs> Next one, Guerlain EDL Eau de Parfum. Gourmand 
sexiness in a bottle. You have the cherry, the vanilla, but it brings a little more to the table. Not only do you smell delicious, but they want to devour you when you put this fragrance on. Gentlemen, brace yourself, because if you want a better life, this is the fragrance to buy. Walking on thin ice when you put this fragrance on, because when you put this on, it's only gonna make them crumble, wanna fall in your arms, and allow you to take control as the alpha male that you already are. Let's go on to the next one. Now, if you didn't think that this gourmand was enough, you wanted a little more you want to turn it up a notch, then you have to get Ferragamo Uomo. This is beyond gourmand. It's like a cheat code because no matter what they feel, no matter what type of fragrance they like, they like this every single time. They are never gonna say, oh, you know, this is my type. This is everybody's type. This is every woman's type. It makes her wonder, what do you smell like? Because it doesn't smell like cologne. It smells like something from a bakery. Very rich, very yummy, delicious. It gives them that caramel roasting type of effect. Sticky, yummy, sweet, gourmand. The day you wear this will be a proud moment in your life. Trust me, it works. This is a cheat code 101. Now, I am so scared to use this bottle up. If you wanna feel instant happiness, feel successful all at once, as soon as you sniff this bottle, as soon as you sniff the fragrance. Another one from Guerlain, Double Vanille. It's the best vanilla fragrance in the market today. I've smelled hundreds, I mean hundreds, of vanilla notes, but this one just hits different. Enticing, sexy, 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 mouth-watering fragrance. You got those milky accords. Quench your inner desires with this one. This one just really gets them in their feelings. When you have to beat that villain in the end of the game, you just can't beat him because he's too good. This one is just too good. It's, I'm telling you, if you like vanilla fragrances, this is the one to get. The best vanilla in the market, in the game. Let's go on to my number one. You want that oomph of a fragrance. You want to just wow them. You just want the best designer fragrances and not collect cologne anymore. Tuxedo by YSL. The king of kings when it comes to YSL fragrances. I feel lightheaded. I feel dizzy. This one, oh my God. Yes, yes. Now I understand fragrances are expensive. This is expensive. For a 2.5 ounce bottle, I spent like two something on this. But you know what? When it comes to something unique, and you just want the best of the best. Money doesn't matter because you have to sacrifice it in order to smell this good. And that's what I like about this fragrance. Not everybody's rocking it because not everybody wants to spend that type of money. But if you want to set yourself apart, have that extra edge, that competitive edge from the other people in the market today, then you have to get something like this. Why sell tuxedo? Smooth, boozy, sexy, leathery fragrance. Very flirtatious, very romantic. Oh God, this is substance abuse. Honestly, when you put this on, you're gonna lose your mind. This is an addiction. When you put this on and you walk around, you're gonna have to check yourself into rehab because this one ain't gonna stop. It's gonna keep coming back for more and more and more. Honestly, don't do it. If you don't wanna get those compliments throwing themselves at you, don't buy this fragrance because this is what it does. It gets you in, gets you out every single time. Tuxedo by YSL. All right guys, so that was my top 10 masterpiece fragrances in the designer world. All right guys, what are your masterpiece fragrances in the designer world? Your top 10, or even name any of them. What are your fashion tips? What are your New Year's resolution when it comes to fragrances, when it comes to smelling, looking, and feeling good? How about workouts? Let me know whatever it is that's going to help you get that edge from everyone else, to help you smell, look, and feel good. All right guys, thank you for watching. As always, this is James from the channel, Terribly Tough. I will see you guys next year. See you guys in the next review.